Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be setting up the frame for beading my Pansy Project capelet and I'm very excited. Now I actually got this frame. I found it at the thrift store. I got it for 10 bucks. It is the Materies Tapestry frame. It's 36 inches and it is model F101. Now, I don't actually know if this has all the pieces. I haven't looked through it yet. So when I'm setting it up, hopefully all the pieces are there. And if not, then I will just have to improvise. I've been looking online for how to set up one of these frames and I've come across several videos for timbre embroidery. So I'm going to be using those for how I set up my frame may not work. I don't know. We'll see. One thing I am worried about is that the frame isn't going to be big enough for my capelet pieces. So this is one of my capelet pieces and ideally I want this entire thing to fit on the frame while I'm working on it. I know you can do like a scroll framework. I've seen, um, I think it was Dressed in Time. She has a scroll framework set up for when she did her embroidery on one of her gowns. I will link that video below if you want to see her setup. So I'm hoping that I can just attach this to another piece of fabric that's going to be attached to the frame. So I will have something that is secure that will keep the fabric from moving around. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go. This is my first time doing something like this. So I'm okay with being bad at it because I'm learning. <laughs> we all have to be bad at it before we can become good at it. I saw this video somewhere that said 18 minutes a day will get you to 100 hours a year and then make you more proficient than 95% of the population in that task or something. It was some go-getter encouraging thing. <laughs> so anyways, enough sidetracking. That's all I have for now. So let's get to putting this together. The frame did end up being quite a bit more narrow than I had wanted, so I headed to my local hardware store and picked up some 1x2 fur boards to make my frame longer. I used the boards that came with the frame as a guide and then marked and drilled new holes on the boards that I purchased. It is another late night here in the Rose household and tonight I am going to start by setting up my frame for beading. I have 
some organza. So this is not a silk organza, this is a poly organza because I couldn't find any. But organza is what's recommended for doing timbre because it doesn't stretch, so I don't have to worry about buckling in the future. And then it also adds another layer of interfacing. So I'm gonna get started. Um, I have already kind of put three pins along the top to this twill tape. And then I am just going to stitch the organza to the twill tape with like a, I think someone recommended a running back stitch. So that's the plan. I have my nice beverage here and I'm gonna turn on audiobook and uh, get started because this process may take a while. So let's get to it. So now that this is tightened this way, I need to tighten it this way. And that is where a lot of twill tape comes in handy. So one of the videos I saw, they go back and forth now, instead of using a thread, they use twill tape to kind of bind off the edges to make it a bit more secure. So uh, we'll see how this goes. So now that my frame is all set up, I'm ready to start beading. But for today, I'm going to end the video here, and next time you'll be seeing me working on the capelet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are someone who actually does beading on a tapestry frame, let me know down below if there's anything I can improve on for when I'm actually working on the capelet. So I will see you next time, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!